Hey everybody, Dr. G here. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and body language expert. And today we're going to be analyzing the body language of Mitch McConnell. What we're looking at today is him responding to questions about his health. Before we get started, I do want to remind you to like and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. All right, let's go. Recently, Senator McConnell has had two episodes where he appeared to freeze. We're going to briefly watch one of those so you'll have some context regarding his discussion of his health, which we're going to watch and analyze after this. Sure. Did you hear the question, Senator, running for re-election in 2026? So I'm not here to present any reasons why I believe this is happening. But what we are going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at his body language as he talks about his current health. Good afternoon. Welcome back. Respectfully, can you tell us what is putting you and describe characterize what is the level of transparency that people of Kentucky deserve to hear that information? Well, I think Dr. Monahan covered. We'd like to hear from you. So when you see his hands open like this, watch this right here. All right, now this leaves us open and vulnerable. Oftentimes we do this when we want to be believable, when we want someone to listen to us, because that means we're vulnerable. Our face, our neck, our body is open. Our most vital areas are open. So when we leave our hands open, that's an attempt to be believable. Dr. Monaghan, covered. We'd like to hear from you. I, I know you are hearing from me. I think Dr. Monaghan covered the subject. All right, now you can't see this very well, but if you look at his right arm when he says Dr. Monahan covered the subject, he taps three times because he's emphasizing that point. This should clue you into the fact that this is what you're going to be getting from him today is read what Dr. Monahan said. Watch this part again. You are hearing from me. I think Dr. Monahan covered the subject. Because we do those things to emphasize, and that's what he wants to emphasize. He wants to emphasize what Dr. Monahan said. What Dr. Monahan said is it is not a variety of maladies, including this, 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 and this. So Dr. Monahan is a physician who basically stated what it is not. He really didn't say what it is. Well, you've had a chance to read it. I don't have anything to add to it. And if you watch his eyebrows right here. You've had a chance to read it. I don't have anything to add. All right, I don't have anything to add to it. He is not going to add anything else. I do not have anything to add to it. I am not adding anything to it. That's what he's telling you by raising his eyebrows. I want to emphasize this point. I'm not adding anything else. Do it, and uh, I think it should answer any reasonable question. And then he says, I think it should answer any reasonable question. So after he says that, he nods his head. Because we do that subtly so that people will agree with what we're saying. So it should answer any reasonable question. I'm nodding my head that that's what it should do, and I'm standing by that. Watch this part again. And uh, I think it should answer any reasonable question. All right, so he faces his body away. He smiles. This is a way that we use to deflect, that when we smile, oftentimes we do that because we want other people to reflect that smile. But when you're doing that in a sense of, I'm not going to respond to you, that's a very political thing to do. That's very much something that a politician will do, is they will smile in order to evade a question. And that's exactly what he does. Let's watch this and we'll go back. So it's disarming to do that. See, let's go back here. So somebody asks him a question he doesn't want to answer. He smiles and then he continues to face away because there is part of us unconsciously that doesn't want to be rude, that doesn't want to push somebody who's smiling at us. So that is something salesmen use that it's a very common tactic for people to use to evade a question, to evade trying to respond to something directly. You know, when we look at all these evaluations, what a doctor said is the precise medical reason for those two freeze What doctor? <laughs> now, if you watch Senator Ernst in the background, watch her mouth when this question is asked. I don't think she likes this question a whole lot. She's pursing her lips, which maybe she finds this question irritating. For those two freeze What? Dr. Monahan's report addressed was concerns people might have that some things that happened to me did happen, really didn't. And it's really, I have nothing to add. So you see the open body language again. Really didn't. And it's really, I have. 
So he's opening his hands up. He's becoming vulnerable again. I have nothing to add. So not only is he telling you, I have nothing to add, he's confident in that fact, and he's saying, I'm not going to add anything. And he's, once again, leaving himself open and vulnerable, saying, there's nothing else for me to say, nothing else to add. So is he lying? Not exactly, but he's not answering the question. Nothing to add to that. I think you pretty well covered this up. When you say to those who are calling on you to step down, do you have any plans to retire anytime soon? <laughs> I have no announcements to make on that subject. Oh, what do you say to those who are calling I'm going to finish. Step down? See, he raises his eyebrows when he says, I'm going to finish my term because he wants to emphasize this is a point I'm going to make today. I am going to finish my term. I do want you to focus on the letter, which he doesn't say right now, but he said earlier while raising his eyebrows, these are the points that he wants to emphasize. So when he wants you to know something, he uses his body and his eyebrows to emphasize those points. Let's watch this part again. <laughs> I have no announcements to make on that subject. Oh, what do you say to those who are I'm going to finish my term as leader, and I'm going to finish my Senate term. And Thank you. Mr. Leader, what is your response to Senator Rand Paul, sir? So one thing you can say about Senator McConnell is he does appear very comfortable responding to these issues, but he also is deflecting any real response. I think this is only going to arouse more suspicion as people continue to analyze the situation. I know this is a quick video. Hopefully it gives you some idea of the body language you were observing when you saw Mitch McConnell talking about his health. And once again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. All right. Thanks for watching.